Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Could it be due to the disruption caused by the emergency? Well, this door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. White. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting technique. Let's wait. Watch this. Stream four. The model in the sand pit. It's the golden hour, isn't it? And the footprints here are different from the rest. And there are two sets of them. Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Can you identify the people who left these footprints? Well, there's a unique pattern here. Flamboyant, even. And judging by the size, I'd say these were men's shoes. If I'm right, it could be the IPC ambassador, Aventurine. Aventurine. What about the other set? It looks like they were walking side by side as opposed to one behind the other, so the second individual is likely equal in status to Aventurine. The IPC is eager to reclaim Penaconi, so their presence here is not unexpected. people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Look, it dropped something. 
A note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Uh, it seems like the mansion's entire workforce were assigned other tasks before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmony Festival, perhaps. But no matter what their main priorities are, there should always be someone left at the mansion, right? So you're saying someone deliberately cleared the place out? Yeah, but I don't know why. <sighs> Let's wait and see. here either since no one's around to entertain us let's make ourselves at home stay close to me so that my white can cover you too As soon as I and the rest of the crew arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice, and now it seems I was right. Robin believed it was because the Harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning... If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain why Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. light cone is securely guarded it must hold some important memories according to robin's interview despite having performed on so many grand stages her favorite performance was a, 
a pretend show she put on with her brother when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but also losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. information about Robin, Firefly, and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. Looks like the rumors were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger to death. He's just surprised that it has resurfaced. It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Oti is happy with Sunday's recent performance. They don't seem to care much about death. Instead, they're more concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family and everybody has their own agenda. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research on his suspects. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders, but I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics... What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if... This traitor really exists. Could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? Perhaps that's why Sunday is taking this matter so seriously. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. Someone's approaching. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Uh, nobody came to greet us, so we entered without permission. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? Even without the famous Galaxy Ranger, as far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission, so coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why we're here, to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason to show you the door. 
Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe, it might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. According to a Pierpoint hotline tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources, resulting in the IPC taking a massive loss. The case's main suspect originates from Sigonia IV and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Avjin extinction event, who does not carry an interstellar refugee travel permit. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC has appropriately relocated the suspect in the spirit of the Charter and will continue to conduct further investigations as to the motive of the suspect. What pretty eyes. Tell me, do they shine in the dark? Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet... You went and killed that man anyway. No lawyer has the audacity to defend you. Perhaps you ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. You're pretty confident on your eloquence. Did you also think that when you lied to the Intelligentsia Guild? Ask and you shall receive. You wanted the perfect construction material. All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, 
is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. To be brought before you for the next high-stakes gamble. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Tell me, what are you prepared to wager this time? My life. <laughs> I bet you won't send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want, then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my... market value. Thirty tonbas. No more, no less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me this chance. Which is why you should call him here. Interesting. A pity Diamond won't see you. No one gets to see him. From here on out, I am Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. Thirty Tonbas. I'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. Even what you don't want. Kakavasha. <laughs> A good name. But unfortunately destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like, then choose your desired identity. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. May your plans never suffer failure. Life is like a long-term investment. Those who choose correctly, do the correct things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? If that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or... Will I encounter failure? Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some ideas. Lowly. Dreaming, or have I gone completely insane? Perhaps both. Forgotten me already? When 
and you were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlords, who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. Not the first time we've met. No need to be so polite. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools with you through death's door. That's why you're here, isn't it? <laughs> a grand unveiling. You really think you can pull it off? <laughs> why not? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't. show you. Before you're entirely gone, I'll be with you for the last stretch of your road. Let's have a heart-to-heart -heart while we walk. <laughs> what exactly are you? just to reach one outcome. And I am that outcome. Kakabasha, I am your future. <laughs> First I'm hearing things, and now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Why are there no guests here? What's that Featherhead doing? Just a Bepeshi? No. A child? I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? You don't look well. Impossible. 
Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Fungi. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. Are... Are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes... And Mama Funk... No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Aftons left. Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. Well, you know how rare it is for me to give you the straight dope. So listen while you can. It's good timing that you mentioned the doctor. I'm especially fond of what you and he have in common. The conspiracies, calculations. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, and everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you've meticulously devised? <sighs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Cavalier Gambler. Uptight, sober. Cautious, massive inferiority complex. You want so much, and you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. You fool yourself, too. Well, the best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. <laughs> of course. I know you. chance to embrace elation was that not what you most wanted but you chose the IPC instead for the 
with preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? War done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. about to disappear here? Well, it's not going to be me, anyway. Playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. goodbye that day, how many catechins were like jackals hot on your heels? I know you won't forget that sound anytime soon. Those shrill cackles. You had to hide right under the noses of those savages. You and Big Sis, playing dead, drifting in all that bloody water. Completely ruined that shirt. <laughs> Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? It wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Oh, come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed, after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. For the last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. child 
Could he be in here? Curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same as the radiance of Clipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. I have to say, that doctor's acting was superb. Or, maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday didn't become head of the Oak family by acting sloppy. He's obsessed with control. You have to give him enough detail to satisfy his meticulous nature, but not so much that he gets suspicious. Which is why you had Ratio seek him out and leak the plan on purpose. To prevent the other party from suspecting anything. The intel you gave to Ratio was all true. We spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found me the cornerstone, and before you know it... Everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. Stop rummaging through my mind. Your mind. <laughs> it's our mind. You're me, and I'm you. We're the same. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Cunning. Tell me. What's its name? <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Ah, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what she said when he received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones who, for a measly panic only, 
offered their everything. Oh, you're even more united than the family. As I've said before, three chips are sufficient. All or nothing. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I just want to hear you say it. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. That is, if you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Ah, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Mr. Pretty Eyes? Yes. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course! Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a blimp. I think you mean Phil. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. Sure.
give it a try, mister. How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> Boring. Why aren't you talking? You've piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. Moving on. See that maze over there? I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all.
A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? <laughs> it, is this? Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Shut up. Oh, you don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth the least 60 Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? the thrill of danger, but he refused to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become Joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, you wouldn't be in this state if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of professional integrity. Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Get it? What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Fair? <laughs> you assume your opponents would fight fair in the first place. The odds are obviously not in your favor, so how are you just breezing by? Did that vast fool's words awaken something in you? Well, she gave me an answer that could turn everything upside down. <laughs> everything? You mean, it could make all the cards on the table just... expression right now is hard to put into words. The lucky charm Mama left you is made from gold. Why did you never consider selling it? You obviously could have lived a normal life like Big Sis that way. Looking back, that was the better choice. 
Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. Ah, that's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't sell them. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. <laughs> I know. You must remember what Big Sis told you. You are a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So always remember to protect yourself and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears. You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told me to. Regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Oh, shut me down like a champ! Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. I think I finally get you. And <laughs> woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses her voice. Two unsolved murders. Cryptic messages from a masked fool and a chance to go head to head with Sunday himself. Word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But whose exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then. Reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable. Still, you never answered my question. If you could start over, would you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing? <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? <sighs> Finally, made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet.
watch this. One place he can be going, whether it's in the past. Leather shoes.
I don't know why, mister, but you always give me a special feeling that makes me more curious about you. It's sad that I can't get to know you more. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? Mm. You're... going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. I can do it. And it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple. For you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. Diamond chose you. 
He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. It's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. Alas, people won't make all the right choices in their lifetime. Though luck always seems like it's on your side. You will keep winning, having never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? If all your luck is built on the pain of someone you love, on the loss of dozens more, if these windfalls, these jackpots, aren't a gift from Gyanthra, if all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths. Then what did we do to deserve living in a world like that? <sighs> well, maybe... Maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. photo for me. I want a memento. Sure. Come on. <laughs> Can you take a photo for me? I want a memento. Of course you're seeing 
you'll be better and stronger than me. Do not 
This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavasha. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. destroy the world with your own hands. <sighs> Let's assume, just, just assuming now, that every time I roll dice, there's, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Uh, 
Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Well has decided, decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts, trusts you. you. And we trust, trust his judgment. <laughs> I, I envy your close friendships. Miss Akarar here doesn't present a danger, and she's a low threat to the Astral Express. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. Which is why, before working in work together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where all three parties are present? There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Anacone Sisa from the beginning, and has been continuously strategizing to unveil it. In that sense, he has to express his role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellablog and the Xianzhou. You're talking weird again, but it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't ignore the safety of Penacone. To solve the mystery of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPCs in Delta. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, now is Miss Sakura? I will accompany you, of course. Let's move out then! No need to rush. If he, if he truly has laid a trap, he, he will definitely use every means to lure us in. Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. 